Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Noiver Nation coming at you with another Battle Spot episode. We have Mew here, along with Mega Gardevoir and Gengar returning. Then we're rocking out with Infernape, Braviary, and Noivern for our newbies. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, Mew has the Assault Vest, Noivern has the Choice Specs, Infernape has a Wide Lens for his um, Focus Blast because he's special. Then we have Braviary with a Sharp Beak. Then we have Gengar rocking the Expert Belt and Mega Gardevoir. So here we go. We're going to get into this battle spot. And it is really dark. Like, I, I promise you, everything's open, lights are on, and it looks really dark. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. Whatever. Whatever. It's whatever. It's whatever. Okay, so he's a Fortress, a Charizard, an Aegislash. Oh, that Aegislash. It's actually might not be a problem this time because we have... He only has two Mons with items. That might not be an issue. Should we bring Noivern? I'm thinking we bring Noivern for the, uh, for the Charizard. Not the Charizard. The, uh, Aegislash. Um, and the Fortress. We can hit both of them with Noivern. Um, or Infernape. We can bring Infernape. Infernape has its stab, but, I mean, yeah, it's, I'd rather bring him. I think I'd rather bring Infernape, because I can also U-turn out. Um, Gengar clearly has to come because of Shadow Balls. And we're timid, so we're fat. We should be faster. And Mew. Mew for just in case. Mew's like my backup plan. Yeah, so I'm gonna open with Infernape because he knows U turn. Like, he's a mixed. It's like 250 attack and like 280 special attack. Or something like that. I don't know. I could be wrong. Or he's like 223 attack and 300 special attack with at level 100, clearly. Not at level 50. Your friend John Mark is online. Thank you. Thank you. So you open with a fortress. And I don't know. I think it might be enough to scare him out. Because, th like, this is, this is stealth rocking. Is he going to be able to eat this, is the question. Now, is a flamethrower safe still? I think a flamethrower is safe. Like, regardless, I'm getting something off on someone. Oh, he stayed in. Well, that's four times effective. This thing, this thing is gone. <gasps> yeah, sturdy. Curse you. That was a good move. Toxic spikes. Okay. We have Gengar. We can just get rid of it. No, we can't get rid of the toxic. Did we bring Gengar? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not a problem. We have Gengar. That's okay. So we're just going to go for another Flamethrower. I mean, does he really want to stay in? Does he, I mean, does he really want to sub out? Like, come on now. Okay, so he got his Toxic Spikes up. But at that risk, he lost his Fortress, which is okay. I'll take that. I'll take Toxic Spikes. And it's off-centered. What the heck? I'm sorry. I, I swear, my thing's going to be like, it's off-centered. Here comes the Charizard. I can't really do anything to this. So let me U-turn. If I had Thunder Punch, if I was rocking, if I was physical, Thunder Punch would freaking murder this thing, but I don't have Thunder Punch. It was great. I mean, that is... Um, only does... Is he double resistance. So I'm gonna go to Gengar here. Just because it's the safe Toxic Spike switch in. EQ. And we got Levitate! Ooh, that was a perfect switch in. Good play. Good play. Alright, so I'm gonna go for T-Bolt. Because the E-Belt, this I think that'll take us Charizard. Boom, down goes Charizard. Alright, so we're three and three by the way. Including like that's from last episode. So we're three and three there. We're trying to move up. Trying to stay trying to get positive. And he has a Gengar. Oh, real question. Do we outspeed his Gengar? I don't know. We're about to find out. Shadow Ball. Gengar v Gengar. He got Mega Gengar. Oh, that's a problem. We still outspit. Let's go. Come on. It's not a problem. We got it. Oh, let's go, Gengar. Good job. Gengar is nice. Yes, I want 
continue battling. Uh, 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 uh. This is a good team. I'm really liking it. I really like it. I haven't used Noivern or Bravier yet. See, the only problem with this specific team is hazards. Because Rocks hurt Noivern and Rocks hurt Bravier. Bravier. It's not good. Julian from Spain. Okay. He has a Sinchino. I hate Chinchinos. He has a Mkimo, a Tropius, a Zeb Striker, a Dustox. Um, I definitely see Infernape coming in this battle. Infernape looks like he's gonna be my lead. Cause I can Focus Blast that. I can Infer. I can Flamethrower, Flamethrower, Flamethrower. Um, I'll probably end up switching out on one of those two. I don't see Noivern coming. I don't have any ground. Um, I don't see any resistant. No, you know the Steel or Steelix. There's Skarmory. So there's a resistance there. Um, what do I have for the Zeb Striker? Any Molga? Do I have any rock? Tape moves? No. Um, I see. I mean, Noivern Boom Burst can hurt. Since it's specs, I say I bring Infernape. Infernape's definitely my lead. Infernape's definitely my lead here because he can body some things. I just pray to God that I don't miss a Focus Blast on a Sinchino. Um, I say I bring Noivern as well. Question is, do I bring Braviary or do I bring Gengar? Okay, Gengar has T Bolt. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I bring Mew. I bring Mew. I bring Mew. Because of Ice Beam. I bring Mew. That's the smartest play. Bring Mew. Because Ice Beam can hit the Molga and the Tropius, and it's four times effective against the Tropius, and those two can't really do too much to Mew, especially since I'm Assault Busted. And I don't think either of them are physical. They're both special, right? I think so. I think I'm right on that. So I'm gonna leave with the Infernape, and Homeboy's gonna leave with the Skarmory. Okay, so we're just gonna play and throw with this thing. This thing's probably gonna have sturdy, but that's a, that's okay, because we we've dealt with this before, so it's okay. I think a safe flamethrower is in imminent. Like I don't see anything that resists it on his team. Well, okay, the Tropius gets hurt. Skarmory is gonna get hurt. Um, Emoga, I mean, it's gonna get decent damage. Zipstrika. Chinchino, and then uh, his top right Pokemon. I don't remember what it was. He withdrew. I don't think he has anything that resists flame, flame, a flamethrower, though. Yeah, he's gonna go out to Molga here. But let's see how much this flamethrower is gonna do. Please do a decent amount. Please do a lot of damage. Oh, this Molga's gone. This Molga's gone. Unless it's like Choice Scarf, this thing's gone. Nuzzle? Don't paralyze me! Think of Flamethrower anyway. Get this Emolga off my screen. He's gonna go back out into the Skarmory now. That's the problem with that. Because Skarmory can probably Brave Bird. Yeah, see? Now, this is my question. Who do I have in the squad? No, I've run a mute. I, I, I mean, I'd rather just have Infernape get KO'd. I mean, the, Chin the Sinchino probably won't be a problem because we have Aura Sphere. Oh, Drill Peck. Okay, it's Drill Peck. Oh, we ate it up! Let's go, Infernape. Can we kill it? Can we get the one-shot? Oh, are you serious? Are you... Oh, wait. Nope. Nope. I got burned! <laughs> Never mind. Aw, oh, is the burn even going to KO because of the leftovers? Am I? Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. He's out. I'm not clapping it. Okay, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. You want hacks? Let's get the hacks. I'll take that. Shinshino. I'm gonna mock punch this thing because I just wanna get as much damage off. Please don't catch paralysis. I just wanna get a crap ton of damage off on this thing. Cause I hate Shinshinos. There. Okay, that did a decent amount. Rock Blast. Ooh. Two. It was a crit! Three. We're surviving. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. Why do you always get a crit though? Like, I hate Shinshinos. I don't want to send out Noivern because of Rock Blast. Rock Blast will hurt, but I'm going to go with Mew. But I'm pretty sure we outspeed a Shinchino with Noivern. But like, I'm going I'm to go out to Mew anyway, and I'm going to hit it with a uh, Aura Sphere, because I don't know what it can hit me with in, in reality. Tail Slap. One. Two. Three. Four. Is it going to hit me five times? 
What the heck? Does he have like an ability that guarantees him five hits? Because I'm pretty sure you rock all those like multiple moves on Shinshino. But it's dead. I don't even care. Yeah, Mew. Mew just got this revenge. Revenge of the Mew. We're five and three now. We're two and zero oh on the day. Wait. That's how we started last time. We did a great job last time. Two and zero oh, start. We cannot lose this time. We're not losing this time. Communication with other trainers. Why does everyone keep DCing? Like it's not my fault. I have my. I'm still connected to everything. Yeah, I want to continue battling. In party. All right, squad. We in here. I'm happy. Mew got its revenge. I'm not as mad about this. This chinchino. Volcanian, please. I have a volcanian. I just dropped my pencil. All right. You have. Oh my gosh. You have a mega metagross. I feel like he's going to leave with the Metagross. I'm being 100% honest because I, I have Gengar, though. If I had Dazzling Gleam on Gengar, I'd lead with Gengar. I'm, I'm, I would not second-guess it. I would not second-guess it for a minute. We do have Noivern, though, and we can hit it with a Flamethrower. We have Infernape who can hit it with a Flamethrower. We do have options this time for the Metagross. Last time, we didn't really have too many options. This time we have options for it. We also have options for the Dragonite with Ice Beam. Flamethrower can hit the the Caesar. Um, an Orsfriel body or even a Focus Blast from Infernape will body that thing. I say Mew, Gengar, and Infernape are my dudes for this battle. Like Mega Gardevoir would come in handy, but it's 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 not gonna be like in, in life or death if I don't bring it. Cause like Mew can hit Ice Beams. It can hit the Haxorus and the thing and the uh, Dragonite, and it can hit the Titar. Well, Infernape hits Metagross, Caesar, and the Titar, and then Gengar can hit the Binet, just in case. Like, we have... Oh my gosh, I keep hitting the summary. Oh my gosh. Plus, I can always Willow. Willow the uh, Metagross, but that's how we're going to go. We're going to go Infernape, Mew, and Gengar. Infernape, Mew, Gengar. I feel like a Mega Metagross lead is probably what's going to happen. So I'm just going to straight up Flamethrower, because I'm pretty sure we have to beat it. Unless Mega Metagross is way faster than I think it is. Okay, Noel. Noel. Haxorus. Okay, so we live with the Haxorus. Oh my gosh, Shiny Haxorus, though. That Shiny Haxorus is tight. Okay, come on, guys. We got this. We got this squad. We're going to switch out. Actually, we're not going to switch out. We're going to... I don't know what he's going to hit me with. That's the problem. Mm. Does Haxorus carry EQ? Even if it does, the Levitate's not going to work. So, because the, the, of Mold Breaker. I'm just gonna U turn out. So I'm really scared. I'm ha I'm like I'm I have my hoodie on and I'm like scrunched up and everything. Like I'm I'm that nervous for this battle. Cause I feel like a 3-0 would be amazing. 3-0 would be amazing right now. We can win this. Question is, what does he think I have? Okay. 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 Okay, I'm scared. I'm really scared for an outrage here. Like a life orb or choice bandit outrage scares the living crap out of me. I have to go to Mew. I have to. I have to go out to Mew here. Please. Please, please, outrage! I knew it was coming. I should have went to Gengar. Sacked off Gengar. Mew, Mew ate it up. Okay, so now he's locked in the outrage. Can we please get the ice beam? Can we kill with the ice beam? Please kill with the ice beam. And it's best man. No! Oh my gosh! That was like my only hope for the Haxorus. I don't know how to handle a Haxorus now. Oh my gosh! Gengar has T bolt. I could Willow. I could Willow Wisp it. Oh, half its attack. I could do that. 
I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go for that. Because he still has one more outrage in the bag. And I can't. Oh, the void of the attack. Are we serious right now? Is this serious? Well, Gengar's dead. I don't. Nothing. I, I can't win this. He just swept me with a freaking. I really need this thing to catch confusion. And we need to. I mean, you already hacked me off with the freaking Will O Wisp missing. Now don't miss the focus blast. We have a wide lens on. Please. There we go. Can we. Can we kill? Can we get like stab? Come on. Oh, it's so close to dying. Oh my gosh, I was so close. <gasps> it's confused. Please, please hurt yourself. Please hurt yourself. Please hurt yourself. Let's go! Oh, we have nothing for the Dragonite, though. If we brought Dragonite, we're screwed. We're, like, royally screwed. Okay. 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 We're, we're, we're actually doing a little better, but he brought the Dragonite. Yeah, we lost. Sorry, guys. I, I can't do anything to a Dragonite. If I, I should have just went Focus Blast right off the bat. I am so surprised Infernape just outsped a Dragonite. That's not going to do anything. D dancing, it's just gonna D dance up. Oh my gosh! Why are you so annoying? I'm surprised. Honestly, this is the only time I've ever hit so many focus blasts in a row. I've never hit two focus blasts in a row before. Can I please ask you why you're D dancing? Like, I'm not the fourth in about 2.5 seconds because that's annoying. There's no purpose in you D dancing. Oh my gosh, we got a third focus blast? Easy. Let's run a PP focus blast though. Can we get a crit? Special defense drop? We got a special defense drop. I'm not even playing, though. If we get a crit right here, um, I think we can do this. Go for another D-Dance. Do it. You feeling you feeling cocky? You're just rubbing it in. You're just trying to salt the wound, right? EQ. Dang it. That's that's a kill. Survive. Surprise, I have a focus set. Nope. Oh, we're 2-1 on the day. Man, that makes me kind of angry. Ah, oh, I knew I, I predicted the outrage. I, you know, with all those dragons, I should have brought Mega Gardevoir because I could have predicted an outrage. Switched out. Like when I switched out to Mew, if I didn't bring Gengar and brought, because yeah, Infernape could have handled. I could have just brought. Me oh, man, I'm an idiot. I mean, no, I guess I did bring a good team to match up good, very well with the other team. It's not like I brought, I brought it, for ba basically I did what I did for the Mega Metagross. Because the Mega Metagross has swept me before. And I just basically got swept by a Haxorus. If it weren't for Infernape getting a Focus Blast kill and then it hitting itself. Water type battle. Are you going to bring all water types? Where's Bulbasaur? You brought a Swampert. You brought a Rayquaza. You brought a Deoxys. Why would you do this? Okay, so I, I, I have to bring Gard Mega Gardevoir. Clearly Mega Gardevoir has to come. Um, um, how do I handle the Swampert? <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know how to handle the Swampert. Braviary's coming. I'm going I'm to open with Brave. I'm going to go Mew. Just in case. And I'm going to go Gardevoir. This is our fourth battle in the day, right? Because Mega Gardevoir, honestly, if I play my cards right, we might be able to sweep with Mega Gardevoir. I'm just hoping and praying he does not bring the Swampert. Because I think the Swampert is the biggest issue. Like, I'm pretty sure I can handle the X-Bloud. I'm pretty sure I can handle I can handle the Sableye. I think I can even handle the Rayquaza. Easy peasy with Mega Gardevoir. It's just a fact. Even with, um, no, because Ice Tech moves, but whatever. But still, like, we can still do some hardcore damage if we just, who do you open with? Sableye. Sableye has make when it's mega evolved, it has prankster. I am going. I'm gonna tailwind. I'm actually gonna tailwind. Cause I don't really think Sableye can do much to a brave Yeri. I have I'm rocking oh my gosh, sorry. I'm rocking Tailwind, U-turn, Roost, and Brave Bird on my Brave Yeri. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous right now. I I just we can win this battle. Alright, we outsped, so we get the tailwind off. That's basically for Mega Gardevoir. 
to outspeed everything else. What do you go for? Foul play? Ooh, okay. Get some damage. So we're gonna get some chip damage off. And we're gonna break for it. A shark beak stab brave bird. Let's go. We went for sucker punch. I was thinking about roosting there too. Dang it. Oh, we survived. We're killing ourselves. But you're taking a t. Every uh, you're taking a death. Can you take a death? What? Braviary took one life before it took its own. Okay. Now, with the tailwind up, make a Gardevoir. He doesn't have a steel type, so Hyper Voice is hurting. For me. I'm going to make a Gardevoir. Because Mega Gardevoir is a monster. Let's go, Mega Gardevoir. Come on. Come on, Titania. Rayquaza. Oh, snap. Should I just straight up Hyper Voice? Should I try to sub? I'm straight up Hyper Voicing. Because we have Tailwind up. So we, we got. We have like. Isn't it. Twice the speed? Is it twice the speed? But Rayquaza Shiny looks so dope, I'm not even gonna lie. Are we gonna make a Volt? We're gonna make a Volt. And if he make a Volt, that proves that we have speed, and this thing is dying. We're hitting this thing hard. Yep. Alright, so we have speed, and we're hitting this thing hard. I didn't want to waste my turn by subbing. Like, if he would have if he de here, I'm gonna be kind of salty. I'm gonna be 100% honest. Like, I'm just trying to think on what this thing can do to me. Dragon Ascent? Delta Stream? Go for it. Go for your Delta Stream. Are you going to be able to hold this hyper voice though? Nope. Let's go! Rayquaza's has not been an issue for me. I'm going to be 100% honest. Did my Tailwind Peter out? Please don't Tailwind Peter out yet. Please stay alive for one, like, one more turn, Tailwind. Because we can win if this Tailwind stays alive for one more turn. Mm. Yes! Okay, stay, so Tailwind's still up. So we're just straight up going for a hyper voice here. No questions about it. No no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And you can't use Mega Swampert because he mega his Rayquaza. So this is going to hurt. I'll just Psy Shock. I'll just repeatedly Psy Shock with me. Oh my gosh. Hydro Cannon. Right, so he has to rest this turn. And we ate. Okay, so he has to rest this turn, so I'm going to wish. You out, you you messed up, bro. I just want to let you know. You never use our hydro cannon. And I'm a sub out. So we can actually get the wish off. Look at that. Hydro cannon again? Okay, we're gonna take the sub babe. We're gonna take that wish though. Even better. Okay, so now that I know we can survive another hydro cannon, I'm feel better hyper voicing. Like, I don't want to hyper voice at first just in case we missed. I don't know. I don't know. Or just in case we didn't kill, but we killed. Nice, nice job. Nice. Well played, well played. We are at 24 minutes in our video, and we are 3-1. and one. I feel good about doing one more battle. 3-1 on the day, 6-4 and four overall. It's not even bad. I'm actually really happy about that. So here we go. We're in party. We got Mew, Noivern, Infernape, Bravey, Yerby. I haven't not brought my Noivern. I have not brought the Noivern yet. I, I'm really, really sad I haven't brought Noivern yet. Like, Noivern hasn't had a decent matchup, though. I'm gonna be, I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. Like, I feel bad not bringing Noivern, but it's like... I, mean, I understand he's my mascot. Oh, and we have Kelvin! Kelvin! Flygon! So he's a Flygon, a Conkeldur, an Empoleon, a... Stop! Chop, stop, stop, chill out. No, no, no. Shh, I'm recording. 
Guys, you guys are so mean. I didn't say anything. D no, I did Say hi, Kai. Say hi. No. Okay, fine. Well, this is my little brother and my little cousin because they're not- Stop! You're gonna mess up the recording! You're chill- Stop. You're gonna mess it up. So I'm still- Cause you're gonna knock over everything! My gosh! Okay, well that's my little brother and my little cousin. And I'm not re-recording this again. I've I, I straight up have re-recorded Battle Spot like six times. Because everybody's rude. In my household. They don't know what personal, like, privacy is. But... I'm gonna... He's gonna slam the door. Look at that. Makes a loud noise. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... I have 45 seconds now. I haven't even looked at the team. Ugh! I don't even know who to bring. I'm being 100% honest. Um, I'm bringing you for the flag on. I uh, wrote him heat. I need water. I need water. I need rock. I need something along those lines. I don't have any of that. A Pikachu's not really an issue to me. Like, I don't see him bringing the Pikachu. Maybe not the Rotom Heat because it doesn't have an item. But I feel like Gengar needs to come. And I need to bring Infernape or Braviary. Infernape or Braviary. I think Infernape. Ooh, buzzer beater. Woo! That was like... Like, I, I just... I just sitting here messing with my little brother and my little cousin. I didn't get a chance to really look at the team. Okay, Kelvin. Let's go, Infernape. You love a Pikachu. <laughs> it's shiny Pikachu. It's shiny Pikachu. Pika. Pikachu. Pika. I'm a flamethrower the Pikachu. I don't even care. Oh my gosh, it outspit. Oh my gosh, he knows Voltec. Holy crap, Pikachu. We're left with one HP. This Pikachu's dead though. Oh my gosh. Why was Pikachu so like monstrous? My heart just like, oh my gosh. Here comes Ronin Heat. I'm just gonna focus blast it. Because Flamethrower's not gonna do anything. Focus blast will at least do something. Because I know I outspeed. I really wanna go 4 1 on the day, but we're still positive no matter what. And we did a decent amount of damage. We both switched out. Um, he's gonna he's gonna give me priority here because he's gonna sh show me what last Pokemon he has. I love Rotom Heat so much. Rotom Heat's such a monster. It's such a good UU you, you mom. He brought his Flygon. That means I'm gonna go out to Mew. It's physical, but we're pretty bulky, and I feel like we can eat whatever comes our way. U-turns out. Crap! Forgot about U-turn. We ate it. Oh my gosh, we ate it up. I should have predicted that and went for a side shock instead of showing I had ice beam, but I think I'm going to go out to Gengar because I feel like he's just going to U-turn, Volt Switch, U-turn, Volt Switch, U-turn, Volt Switch, U-turn, Volt Switch, and I feel like Gengar's going to eat a U-turn the best, and he's going to be able to knock out the Rotom the best. Question is, can we outspeed a Rotom with Mew? <gasps> Never mind, we froze it. I don't see him switching out here, so we're just gonna side shock. Which really sucks on it. I mean, like, that really does suck on his part that he had to get hacked. Oh. Okay, I didn't die. Go for. A I mean, there's no point in him staying in, so I'm gonna go for another side shock just, just to kill it. There's like no reason for him to switch out. And I'm pretty sure, um, unless he goes for Dragon Claw or Earthquake, he should be good. Like if, and honestly, if I was carrying, a, if I had a different Mew, if I had my other Mew with Expert Belt, I would have roosted there. Or Leftover, excuse me, I would have roosted there. But I'm an Ice Beam. We might be able to knock this thing out. We might not be. I don't know what he's going to go for. Like I don't see U-turn. EQ, okay. If he's Bandit, I win. No need. We ate it up. 
and that's dead flying on. You know what? I'm gonna go one more. Win or lose, we're gonna go one more. We win. We've gone four and one on the day, and that's fantastic. I'm very proud of myself. Even only taking that one loss is not not even bad. We went three and three last time, and now we're gonna go at least two games positive. So like we're gonna go from three and three. Now we have seven and seven and four. It's not even bad. That's not even bad. I'm really proud. Of the noise. I'm, I'm good job, Dave Young. Like pat myself on the back. Let's go. All right, challenge. I'm actually gonna switch the music this time. I'm gonna use music 20. I like music 20 a lot. I wanna, I'm gonna check that one out too. Switching up the music. Actually, nah. I mean, we've been winning with this music, so it's like, why switch it up? Oh no, Japan, Japan. Okay, he didn't bring the thing. Team I thought. Okay, so clearly I have to bring Infernape, Gengar, Noivern. Or Mew for that stupid Sheninja. Politoed. I could T-bolt it with Gengar or Mew. Hit Poudon. I can T-bolt the Charizard. Um, I can flamethrower the Bomb of Snow. I can Aura Sphere that. Like, honestly, this might be the best matchup. Hit Poudon's really. I feel like he's either gonna go for. I feel like he's he has like Hazard Team, like or not Hazard, like Weather Team. You see, Poudon can T-tar can set up the Sand Stream. And he can go out into uh, Hippowdon. If he has Mega Charizard Y, that's Drought. Politoed has Drizzle. And then Obamastone has Snow Warning. Like, is that what his plan is? Like, I don't see what... Only thing that would make it funnier is if he had a cast form. But still, like, I don't know. I think the, the only thing that can make that even... It would make it obvious if he had a cast form. But I don't even know. Um, Noivern can actually come. Noivern can come. I say Infernate Noivern. And Mew. Infernape, Noivern, Mew. Infernape, Noivern, and Mew. Let's go. I need... I wanted if Noivern to get some minutes. And I really, really am happy that Noivern is going to get into this battle. Because, like, push come to shove, we can just boom burst. And boom burst is going to hurt everything but the Sheninja and the T-Tar. I'm focus blasting. I hope y'all know that. For all things holy, don't miss. I'm true. He's gonna go out to that shed ninja. Watch. I don't know what that is. Now I'm to pout on. This still might hurt. Okay. Yeah, we're going for another one. It's sand veil though, doesn't it? Isn't it like sand something raises. The wide lens came through. Okay, let's get this a pout on off my screen. Let's go. Let's go. Can we can we can we get Infernape suit though? T Tar? Are you sure you want to do that, buddy? I know I have speed you. Hacks God. Give me a third focus blast, though. That seems our phone. Oh, it didn't fall! What the heck? It's not dead? It was four times effective! Did I miss something? I was too busy praising the hacks God. Oh, it survived. Well, ain't that just a freaking piece of... All right. Well, no Noivern sweep, but we're gonna rock out with Mew and we're gonna Aura Sphere this thing to death. How you feel now, buddy? Take this. I'm mad now. That moment when you're like, oh crap. Who else do you bring? Because I'm buying everything else. Mm-mm. 
Mama. Okay. So he changes. He changes the weather to hail. I have Aura Spare. Blizzard. Okay, we're eating that. As long as he doesn't have speed us with no uh, with Noivern, I'm pretty sure he won't. But if he does, if we don't get the kill. Like if we don't, if we get bodied, I'm pretty sure we won't. Like he's just gonna keep going for Blizzard, which is the obvious move to go for here. Can we live with the hit? We won. Five and one on a day. That's beautiful. That's a really good record. So we're gonna go from three and three to eight and four. Not bad. Not even bad. Sixty-six percent. Let's go, Noivern Nation. That's where I'm at in the episode. Look at that. So that's nice. Went on two game win streak. Lost and went on three game win streak. Not even bad. Not even bad. I'm happy. I'm happy for the Noivern Nation. But that's it. I gotta get up out of here because I need to actually get to doing stuff. Have yourselves a good day, guys. I'm excited. I'm excited now. I'm gonna keep Battle Spark going because I, I mean, continuously doing six battles is a lot of fun. So we got. What is that? We got. Wait, uh, how many battles? How many battles have we done? How many battles? So we 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 won five. We won five today, which is pretty good. It's pretty good. But I gotta get out of here. Uh, have a good day. Peace out.